What's going on, Jerome? So everyone and their mom is obviously creaming in their jeans over J.J. McCarthy. Of course, yeah, future franchise quarterback, broccoli hair, you love all that. But for me, Diamond Dallas Turner, number 17 overall, could be the absolute steal of not only the first round, but the entire draft. And, of course, we got it. We got it, man. And the pride of Alabama uh, had himself a, a great junior season, 10 sacks last year as uh, at Alabama in Nick Saban's final season. Uh, well, lost in the semifinals against J.J. McCarthy in Michigan. It is what it is, right? But uh, Dallas Turner proved that he is his own man, uh, as a lot of his production in 2021-2022 was attributed to, like, hey, he's opposite of Will Anderson. So, obviously, Dallas Turner is going to be uh, yeah, p- picking up the bits. Nah. Now, nah, nah, Dallas Turner is his own guy, and he quickly is going to become one of the best young speed rushers in the game. I'm fully excited. I, I went from 6 to midnight as soon as uh, they drafted uh, Dallas Turner. Uh, he's young. He's a perfect fit for what uh, Flores wants to do, and I'll love, uh, I'll love Daniela Hunter forever, but... Dallas Turner is going to be the next talisman on the edge for the Vikings. Long story longer. So DraftKings put out their defensive rookie of the year odds. And, oh, looky, looky, here comes Hookie. Dallas Turner is the betting favorite at plus 350. So if you bet 100 jelly beans, you get 350 in return. Now, I I, I kind of don't like that the, the Defensive Rookie of the Year award, and also, frankly, a Defensive Player of the Year award, has basically boiled down to who gets the most sacks or who gets the most interceptions. Like, there isn't, you know, talk about being, you know, a, a blanket cover corner where you're so good that defenses do, or offenses don't throw at you, or a, a great off-ball linebacker who's fantastic in coverage and a tackling machine. And also, like, hey, you could have double-digit sacks, but you could be extremely inefficient with your pass rush, and also maybe you're bad against the run, but you may still win it. Right? So it, it is what it is, like we said. Uh, the rest of the favorites, Latu Latu, uh, Indianapolis Colts first-round pick. I like Latu a lot, uh, and frankly, if the Vikings would have drafted, uh, find, found a way to draft Latu uh, versus Turner, even though Latu was selected ahead of him, yeah, uh, Quinn Mitchell of the Eagles, as well as Cooper Dejean, uh, also up there as well. Uh, Jared Verse, same as the first, a little bit longer, a little bit worse uh, with the Rams, is fantastic. Byron Murphy the second with Seattle is going to wreck things. Terry and Arnold with the, with the Lions. Now, Arnold could win, except he's got to play Jefferson twice. No big deal. Chop Robinson of the Dolphins, Nate Wiggins, uh, Peyton Wilson of the Steelers, uh, et cetera, blah, 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 blah. Now, what's interesting is if you go down the list, Gabriel Murphy, Vikings UDFA uh, edge rusher from UCLA, plus 6,000. So, and uh, now, now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking here. And then also Kyrie Jackson, woo, he is for real. Uh, the fourth round uh, press man corner savant uh, from Oregon is plus 7,500. So, I kind of like it. I mean, if Kyrie Jackson gets out there and gets six interceptions, I think he's going to win. Hmm. Now, notably, uh, the aforementioned Will Anderson, former teammate of Dallas Turner, Alabama, won last year. And if if um, uh, Dallas Turner wins uh, again, that means that Jonathan Grenard and Blake Cashman outside. How about that? They are the they they are the the, the defensive rookie of the year whispers. That's what they are, man. It's pretty good. But uh, in terms of uh, stats for being on the edge, Will Anderson won last year w- with seven sacks. Now. That seems a little bit low, uh, but it was a pretty shallow year for edge rushing numbers. Now, Micah Parsons sort of blew things up in 2021 with 13. Uh, Chase Young won with 7. Nick Bosa won with 9. Uh, Joey Bosa won with 10 and a half back in 2016. Uh, and I do believe that Dallas Turner, and I do declare uh, that Dallas Turner is going to be an, an extremely important part of the Vikings defense this year. Uh, so you got a ton of first uh, team reps uh, during offseason work because Andrew Van Ginkle is up on blocks that foot injury. Uh, there's even talk that uh, AVG may even start on the preseason slash training camp pup list. So that's even more first team snaps for Turner. And even if they don't envision him uh, being a three down player to start, you're, you're going to have his ass on the field for pass rushing downs. And uh, that's, uh, again, that's what matters for defensive rookie of the year. Uh, it doesn't even matter if you play the run, but if you get double digit sacks, which I, I think that Turner is definitely capable of, uh, sky is the limit. So I also think that Brian Flores is going to unleash the fury with, with Dallas Turner. And it's going to be glorious, man. So I, I think the Vikings have themselves a star in the making. And I think that he has a chance to be very good very quickly and uh, get some accolades and some flowers right away. But your thoughts are thoughts. A Diamond Dallas Turner is uh, the betting favorite for Defensive Rookie of the Year. I'll let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most support the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.